Hello, Ben here, amateur radio call sign M7FRS, and can we bring this Saigu G90 back from the dead? So I've noticed if I've been using the G90 on data modes such as FT8, and I've been controlling it on the PC or laptop using the uh, cat control cable, that sometimes if uh, if I switch the radio off without before turning the uh, PC or laptop off or without disconnecting the uh, the cat cable, the next time I go to switch the radio on, um, it would uh, do this. So I'd go to switch the radio on, and uh, sorry, I don't know if you could hear that noise, but um, the radio would click. Uh, but the screen wouldn't come on and um, I realised the reason being was that uh, obviously hadn't disconnected properly from the uh, the PC so normally the, uh, the way to solve that would be to unplug the uh, cat control cable, uh, depower the radio by either turning off the power supply unit or pulling out the, um, the 12 volt DC input from the rear uh, to depower the radio and then simply by plugging it in again uh, and powering it up uh, with the cat control cable would uh, allow it to boot up but on this occasion uh, that hasn't worked so uh, I've tried a few different things I've left it depowered for uh, several hours uh, and then tried turning it on again same problem I've tried removing the head unit uh, leaving that off and then putting that back on again um, so the last resort I think is gonna have to be to try and reflash the firmware to the head unit to see if it's lost the uh, the firmware okay I've connected the G90 to the laptop with the cat control cable from the USB port on the laptop to the lower port um, on the head unit of the G90 itself. We're then going to open uh, TerraTerm and I'll put a link in the description down below to uh, where you can find TerraTerm if you haven't already got that. Uh, I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to power up the radio so I'm going to put the power on from the power supply because the radio is off at the moment and then I've got to turn the radio on and hit the space bar um, at the right time and it's very difficult to uh, to know exactly when to do it it's within the first sort of second of pressing the button so I don't know if this will work first time but we'll give it a few goes so it didn't work the first time let's just nothing's happened so let's go set up uh, serial port Ah, uh, that's what the problem is. We're on COM9, which is correct, but the speed is wrong. So we want to be on 115200, uh, new open. So now I'm going to have to depower the radio again. So I can either turn it off at the power supply, or we can uh, remove the power cable from the rear of the radio. It's probably one of the best ways of doing it. Plug it back in again after a few seconds. And then I'm going to try and turn the radio on. And then we're going to hit the space bar to see if that'll, uh, that'll work. So I've turned the radio on, I've hit spacebar, and nothing's come up on TerraTerm because obviously my timings weren't quite right. You've got to be pretty precise with this. So I'm going to depower the radio again. I'm going to leave the power off for a few seconds. I've just done that on the power supply. So power supply back on. Uh, radio on. I was too slow again, too slow on the uh, on the space bar. So we'll try that a few more times. There we go. Third time lucky then, and uh, it's saying bootloader one to update firmware or two to exit. So I'm going to press number one. Uh, it'll erase the current firmware. There we go, and that's now done. So I'm now going to go to File, and then Send File, no transfer, uh, X Modem, Send, and I've already got a folder with the uh, firmware saved in it. So again, if I can find the latest up, uh, up versions of the firmware, I'll put a link in the description down below as to where you can find them and you can create your own uh, folder and put the firmwares in there. But I'm currently using uh, version 1.79b 
Uh, that might not be the latest version, but it's the one I'm currently using. Uh, we don't want the main unit, we're doing the display unit only, so let's just try that for now. So I'm going to hit display unit, uh, and you can see it's now copying the firmware from the PC to the G90. And fingers crossed this will uh, bring it back to life. So there we go, the G90 is uh, alive again. So uh, if you've had the same problem as me, I hope you found this video useful. Obviously it's the same procedure for uh, basically updating the firmware. I haven't gone through updating the firmware on the uh, on the actual radio itself, but uh, there's, there's plenty of other uh, tutorial videos out there. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have, please hit the like and subscribe. Always interesting to hear your comments if you've had similar problems or if you've managed to resolve a problem. And uh, stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one. 73.